Hey, what's going on everybody? So in my last video, someone left a comment saying, you know, you should do a video talking about how you got into houseplants. And you know, I thought to myself, I don't think the majority of people would be interested in all of that. But, you know, I have some really cool subscribers who interact with me on a regular basis. And I figured, hey, I've been pumping out a few videos, so why not get to know me? But, you know, I ain't gonna take too much of your time with that because right after that, I wanna hit y'all with some exclusive new house plants that I now have in the collection I wanna share with y'all. Um, so, without further ado, I'm gonna take you back to when it all started. So, for those who don't know me, my name is Dave. I grew up in the Los Angeles area and I come from a really big family. You know, got mom, dad, two brothers, five sisters. Um, but the house wasn't too crazy because when I was a kid, some of my siblings were adults. But I was the baby boy and I was just really into nature. So, you know, I'm that kid that was outside digging in the dirt. I used to go in the kitchen and get dried beans and plant them into styrofoam cups. Um, I used to steal change out of my parents' pants pocket so I can go to the grocery store and get packets of seeds. I would grow them on the side of the house. And you know, the thing is, nobody around me did these type of activities. Nobody was into nature around me. Cause to be perfectly honest with you, I grew up in the hood. And you know, most of my friends were into football, basketball, riding bikes. And sometimes they would make fun of me, you know, a little jokey joke. They'd be like, you know, blood is weird. You know, he got all these animals in his room and stuff like that. So, I mean, you know, that kind of, made me get out of it you know growing into you know becoming a teenager i wasn't really doing these activities anymore because nobody else nobody else did them you know i i like to watch nature nature documentaries and all of that nobody else is doing that so um becoming a teenager i kind of became a knucklehead running the streets you know making bad decisions and my mom eventually transferred me to a performing arts high school um, that is where I met one of my cool friends who you all may know as the late great Nipsey Hussle. But being out of performing arts high school, um, music became my world. Um, me and a lot of my family members, we have musical talents because my father was a well-known musician. He used to play in a band with James Brown and, you know, he kind of cultivated our musical talents. So my oldest sister, she was in Hollywood doing her thing and she became my music manager and she eventually got me and my cousin a record deal. So straight out of high school, I signed a contract with a major record uh, company and formed the R&B group. So the music that you may be hearing in the background is um, from my R&B group. Um, so I was living the life for a minute. Then after a few years, um, things start to go downhill. Um, I didn't really have a home to go back to because my parents had a little situation and money ran out and I was living out of my car. I had to live out of my car. I was sleeping on different people's couches and it was just all bad. But nevertheless, you know, every day I used to go to the public library. I used to get on a public computer and I would apply for jobs. And after a lot of blood, sweat, tears, and diligence, I landed me a good career job that I currently work at. And I was able to get my own place. So after, you know, just some devastation with the whole music career and all of that, um, I got back into what I loved the most, which was just doing nature type stuff. So building vivariums and aquascapes and doing all of that, I started to buy begonias, ferns, and bromeliads, you know, those kind of plants that, that have to do with that hobby. Um, then eventually I kind of progressed with my investments and at work and I bought um, I bought a house. And if you already know, when you buy a house, you go to Home Depot, Lowe's. I started to get into the outdoor plants, but then eventually the pandemic hit and that is when my cousin, who was very influential to me, um, used to invite me to go downtown to the flower district and he would buy these uncommon house plants um, to go into his little indoor jungle vibes that he had because his apartment was so dope He had that loft with the high ceilings. He had like the hip-hop inspired art piece that he made himself 
with that whole jungle vibe. So, you know, I wanted to, I wanted that in my house, you know. Um, eventually, he invited me to join these Facebook plant groups. And he would just, you know, send me pictures like, look at this philodendron, look at that philodendron. That's when I started to get into the philodendrons. And um, just being a part of a local Facebook plant group, you start acquiring more plants. Next thing you know, I have a big collection. So here we are today. Um, I'm now a plant collector. And I'll tell you, um, I named my channel Aeroid District because when I first started buying plants, I used to go downtown LA to the flower district, but I was looking for Aeroids. So that's kind of where the name came from, Aeroid District. But um, I'm loving it. Like I'm living life. Um, you know, collecting houseplants has really helped me because I suffered a lot of loss recently. Like, you know, recently my father passed, my brother passed, all kind of life situations was happening. And just, just to keep my mind un idle has really helped so I don't, you know, fall into any type of depression or anger issues and, and all of that. So it has really helped me. And um, I'm in this thing. Like the plant community has been cool. I've been meeting some really cool people. So um that is that uh without further ado i want to hit y'all with some exclusives i bought some new plants that y'all ain't seen yet so let's get into it so there is an event that's going on you all are invited to this event and you know what this event takes place right now so Cheers to me because what happened was I I acquired one of my wish list plants. This right here is the Circestes mirabilis. Yes, I just got this one uh, maybe a couple weeks ago. And so the thing is, um, I did a video on uh, house plants for, that are native to Africa. And, you know, I know that there are like, you know, some rainforests and jungles in, you know, western part of Africa. And I always figure like, you know, there has to be some type of aeroid species there. And lo and behold, there's actually a lot of them. And this one is one of them. I'm so happy to have this one. Um, when I researched this, uh, it says that when the plant gets mature, is going to like lose all this silver pattern and it's going to like finish straight and it's going to look more like a monstera. I saw pictures of a mature version and it looks like a slightly less impressive version of a monstera deliciosa. So I was watching Enid at uh, NSC Tropicals in some video and she was saying that she rather keep these juveniles so as soon as they mature she'll just cut and propagate so they can stay in this juvenile form because she likes the silver pattern but yeah the Circestes mirabilis I believe that's what it's called so happy to have it <sighs> finally got it <laughs> so the next plant that I have is the philodendron lupinum so I wanted, I had one of these in the past and I wanted to try it again because um, I did put mine outside and it didn't survive the winter. So I went ahead and bought me another one. And this is just, you know, a little small specimen, but um, this is one of the philodendrons that really does transform when it gets older. As you can see now, if you take a look at this, it's like a small velvety Reminds you of a Mikens, sort of. And what will happen is when it climbs, when, when, when it climbs up and it gets mature, um, it's going to lose the velvety texture and it's going to turn into one of those glossy leaves with like trilobes. And I, you know, I, I think that that's pretty cool. So I wanted to go ahead and try this once again. So we got philodendron lupinum. So next. I did a Hoya video and I had some Hoyas coming in the mail. This next one is the Hoya Chow Bang. It finally arrived and I'm loving it. This thing is dope. Check it out. I don't know if 
You can catch the details. Catch the details. So it's like, you know, it, it's actually a fuzzy leaf. I don't know if I don't know if the camera's gonna catch the texture. But it has like the cool veins and the Trying to mess up my video dropping Lekka all over the place, but <laughs> man. Okay, so Hoya Chow Bang. Fuzzy leaves, crazy veins. It's doing what it does. I really like this. Like this is just, ugh, it's solidifying my interest in Hoyas, you know, man. Happy to join the team. So another Hoya that I have is the Hoya Thompsonii. Check that one out. Really good price on this one. Um, I've been catching some Etsy sales. You know, they some of these um, plants on Etsy, they will go on sale and they're very affordable. Um, this was one of them. So this one is like a, it's it's a thick furry leaf with, you know, the splash pattern on it. So this one is going to grow up to, you know, do some great things. Right now it's okay, but maybe I might like it once it starts to grow more leaves. But um, it's very interesting and, you know, go ahead and join the collection. The next plant that I want to show you is... Um, you can't find these out here. I came up on one. It, it may not look so impressive to you, but I think when I when when, when it grows out, yeah, y'all gonna like it. We have the Skindapsis Exotica Pictus tricolor. So take a look at it. Kind of looks like a regular. Uh, Scandapsis, right? But this one has like a different color. So it's like uh, you get dark green, silver, and you get like a lime green in there. And I'm not sure if you can actually see it, but it's 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 the tricolor. Has three different colors going on. You got some green, silver, and then the dark green. And this one was cheap, so it wasn't too much of a sacrifice. Um, being that it does look like the normal Exotica, it costs the same price as the normal Skindapsis Exotica. So, yeah, here that is. And it's acclimating pretty well because this new leaf is, is growing out. So next... I have to go ahead and get me one of these because I'm going to grow this next plant up a moss pole and I'm going to make sure that it gets really huge. But the next plant that uh, I recently got was, y'all know what this is, it's the Manjula Pothos. I'm loving this plant y'all, like this, man, I like it, I like it. So I have it in Lekka and it's doing pretty good. We got like some new growth going on there. This, um, since I had it for what, I would say about two weeks, it grew this leaf and it has this one on the way. So a little bit about uh, the Manjula Pothos that I found out. I just found this out last night. It's actually a hybrid. This is a cross between the Pothos Enjoy and the um, the Snow Queen Pothos. So it's a hybrid between those two Pothos. And now it makes more sense. The leaves are more round. <clears throat> and you can see the, um, actually the new leaves come out real chunky like this. I mean, real uh, sectoral variegation. You got the green with the white. And then when it gets older, these, these speckles start to appear on the white portions. So that's very interesting. Manjula Pathos. So, last but certainly not least, we have 
a baby Florida beauty. Get into this. Look, 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 look what God did. Look what God did. This was on my wish list. This is a wish list uh, plan of mine, and I got it for the low low. So, oh, man, it has really good variegation. And you already know, I just can't wait till it get, gets big. It has a new growth right there. I don't know if you can see that. But something tells me this is going to be a good Florida beauty. So I'm loving it. I'm happy. I'm happy about the new plants that I have, man. Like, shh. I got a Florida beauty, y'all. <laughs> I, I just, you know, I just couldn't justify spending that much money on, on, on this type of plant. But, you know, a lot of the times when you have these wish list plants, you just got to wait it out. And then, you know, when the time comes, shh has to strike you know you got to go ahead and strike when 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 you find it for for the low and um that's definitely what happened so i think um i actually have more plants on the way um maybe on my next video or the next video after the next video um, i'm gonna try to film my equigenera pickup equigenera is doing a show out here in the south bay area of los angeles um what they're doing a pop-up shop um at an orchid show so that's what's going on i made an order i ordered a few things i can't even remember what i ordered but i'll be at that pop-up to pick up uh, my orders and hopefully i'll be able to film so that's well everybody got to show out with these big engines but yeah so that's up next so thank y'all for tuning in to my video and uh, hopefully you like the new plants that I got. Y'all stay blessed. Till next time.